You know, guys, being on the side of the road with lights flashing in your face, having an anxiety attack because of what's about to happen and what you've been caught doing is the last time to be thinking about getting a lawyer. You know when the best time to think about getting a lawyer is? Now, have that in your phone and ready with the Off The Record app or by using offtherecord.com slash TST. Off The Record is a service that connects you with qualified, pre-screened lawyers all over the country, okay? Because you never know where you're gonna be when you're gonna be stopped, right? It might not be somewhere you live. It might not be somewhere you're familiar with. This isn't just a service that games the system electronically. Off the Record actually connects you with qualified local attorneys that have a 97% success rate fighting your tickets. You should always fight your tickets, folks. It's a game and you gotta play to win. Go to offtherecord.com slash TST or use code TST10 on the Off The Record app to get 10% off all legal services with Off The Record from now through May of 2023. Sign up now and bank it for later. That way you'll have it when you need it. Hey everybody, welcome to Malibu and what is going to be my first motorcycle review in almost 10 years. In 2011, I reviewed the BMW F800 GS and it's the one and only time I attempted to review a motorcycle. I was not very happy with the results of that film. Uh, some background on me and bikes. I love bikes. I'm a, I'm a bike enthusiast, although I'm not a mega nerd the way I am uh, with cars. I like riding around the city. I like riding for transportation. I like riding to beat traffic. And I like riding for fun, although I'm not a crazy speed demon the way I am, am in a car. I don't really like to push the limits of bikes. I just like to enjoy them because I've had back surgeries and knee surgeries. I like walking, so I ride scared. So that brings us to this bike, and here we are in the camp with it, the Ducati Scrambler Desert Sled. This is a rad little thing and it really fits my sensibilities because it's very similar to my Safari 911, right? The Safari 911, you take a sports or sporty car and you add a few key bits here and there to give it some off-road credibility and to allow it to handle bumps and potholes and stuff like that in the city. Here, the Desert Sled is the same thing applied to the Ducati Scrambler. The Scrambler comes in four variants. The Icon, which is sort of the regular standard. The Flat Track Racer, which has a certain style. The Cafe Racer, which is done up like a Cafe Racer. And the Desert Sled. They all have their own bits of equipment to sort of make them slightly more specialty in their areas, right? The Desert Sled is taller. It's got the tallest seat of the Scrambler line, which is great for me. It's 6.3. It's got the wire wheels with the knobby Pirelli tires, 17s in the rear, 19s in the front. It's got the skid plate underneath the engine as well as some mud guards around the front forks. And it's overall got a taller suspension which helps with bumps, off-roading, potholes, that kind of stuff. All scramblers have the same 800 cc, 73 horsepower, 49 pound-feet of torque, air-cooled L-twin engine. But each variant of Scrambler gets its own exhaust treatment that just sort of adds to the style. This one with the shorty black tips, I like it, but if you're not wearing the right boots, your leg is gonna get hot. In the 60s and 70s in Southern California, where we're at right now, a trend developed whereby folks would take their UJM motorcycles, their universal Japanese motorcycles, 500, 600 cc's, and sort of safari them. It wasn't a total dirt bike. It wasn't an enduro or a motard. It was a, it was a big uh, pseudo sporty, urban bike that they would just modify a bit to take on trails and you can't help but draw those parallels to my safari 911 factory sports car mostly factory engine suspension tires reinforcements and skid plates i mean if that isn't the safari 911 formula i don't know what is it's very cool that ducati's done it with these bikes Desert Sled is taller than the other Scramblers, which makes it 
very comfortable for me and my long legs and long torso, but it may be a problem for you if you are under six feet tall and trying to stand on your tippy toes at red lights. The L-Twin engine has a really nice, easy, progressive torque band. And <laughs> although the tachometer makes you feel like kind of a pansy, the tachometer goes to 12, but the engine redlines at 85. So for the first couple days, I was like, wow, I'm riding this thing like a total wimp. But it turns out I was actually within like 100 RPM of redline every time. I really like the uh, the twin engine sound, the pulsating brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
always fight your tickets. Go to offtherecord.com slash TST or use code TST10 on the Off The Record app.